got a, I got a lot of music with a lot of Dallas artists, bro. I got music I can't even release, bro. Why they won't clear it? Now I got music with Mo Three that I just can't release because of the Oak Cliff North Dallas shit. I don't want, you know, I want, I don't want my Oak Cliff people turning on me and. You know what I'm saying? They feel some type of way about this shit in the cliff. Like, nigga, like, hey, bro, you from the cliff, you got a song with this nigga. Like, like I done had real live rap beefs behind really? this shit, bro. They still beefing, ain't they? It ain't gonna never stop. Some people die behind this shit, and this shit ain't gonna never stop. Blood done been shed, bullets done been thrown. I mean, ain't no way you can stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, but, but I had to squash my beef with, bro. I, I call myself being s- smart. When he was still living, cause I was trying to show them that it's a better way to this shit. Like, hey, Rest I went on, three. I went on real life street stars. I was like, hey, bro, I'm gonna squash my beef with three. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to show him, like, hey, bro, let's just squash the beef with. It ain't worth beefing, you know what I'm saying? He ain't. Yeah, yeah. So I go on real life street stars. I squash my beef with bro. I squash my beef with Mo Three just so I can drop the songs, cause I'm like, bro, we we in the studio, bro. Fuck am I spending? I paid this man for a feature. Now I can't even do nothing with the song. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? So now I'm like, uh, that didn't work. I mean, he ended up getting short. Shortly after that, he his demise came. Probably like two or three months later. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah. He never answered me back, but I know he synced it because on Instagram he started liking my posts, or you know, he'll come in under my shit or some yeah, shit yeah. like that. Like, so I know he synced it because before then he wasn't. Fucking with me. I got a couple of nice jams, bro. Yeah, me and three got a couple songs. We got a couple and, bad and, songs. And you can never let them out. You I, might want to let them out. The world know now. I mean, I can't let them. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let them out. You ain't gonna chance. I ain't gonna let them out. Right. Nah, I'm gonna keep my Oak Cliff car clean because I still live there. So I, right. I gotta travel them streets. I gotta go to Big T. I gotta go you to Cook got Trip. To go to I gotta go to Walmart. That's I don't, real. I don't need nobody shooting at me while with my granny or with my kids. That's you know real. Man? So. I think about the people that's around me before I do shit. So that's real. That's real. That's I don't need nobody getting caught in my crossfire. Mm-hmm. I want to chill with my mama. Because there's peace. some ignorant people right. out there. Ignorant. 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 Straight Take up. it to heart. Yeah. But I mean, we 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 weren't even really supposed to be beefing. Ever. Like like we wanted like the our way, generation never be the way I the way I beef started <laughs> was stupid anyway. You know what I'm saying? What do you like, think it was? I know what it was. What? It was, I was in the studio one night. This one, this one, Gunna Meezy and Mo Three was beefing real hard. This is before Trap Boy Freddie and Yellow Beezy even came into the picture. Uh-huh. Gunna Meezy and Mo Three was beefing tough, like they was beefing. So they was on Facebook going back and forth. They going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But at this time, me and me and Mo Three, we next door neighbor. We stand there door to each other in all that projects. I can come out my house, knock on his door, or go to his car because he used to sleep in his car sometime when his bitch was tripping. Yeah, I can go to his car. We'll sit in the car, write raps. I'm from Hall Street. Yeah, okay. yeah, or whatever the case, I be smoking, he be sitting out there just, like, we be writing raps, like, we was cool, we had each other's phone number, FaceTime each other, what's up, bitch, what you doing? I really? He even still got a pair of shoes of mine that I really wanted back, but I can't get them back now. Wow. So, like, yeah, like, like, so we was at the studio one night, and, uh, and, like, nigga, just a loud ass knock at the door, saying, like, SWAT team trying to come in that bitch, boom, 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 boom. I look at my brother, at this time, we working on Corner Boys, free and cash, my ties, baby. Straight up. So we working on Corner Boy Project, and I'm like, man, answer the door. You got your gun? You like, yeah. He go to the door with his gun. It's 30 niggas on the other side of this house with bigger guns. ARs and choppers and Dracos and Glocks with sticks and all type of shit. But it's little man. Man, where the hell is nigga at, fool? And I say, hey, bro, my name's Showtime. His name Anthony Cab. We the Corner Boys. Who y'all looking for? Yeah, Mo3 just said he was in here and woo to woo to woo and I'm talking about niggas that bum, push, bum, bum rushed us and went through, started searching the studio and looking around and shit. Like, yeah, yeah bro, where this nigga at? I'm like, hey, bro, Mo3 ain't over here. So me being cool with three at the time, I called my FaceTime. I'm like, hey, bro, what you got going on? Bro, like, what you talking about what I got going on? I said, hey, bro, you got like 30 niggas up here looking for you because you was on Facebook telling them you in here, bro. And, and we really in this studio. You got these niggas up here talking about you said you was in here. Yeah. So he was like, who? So I tip the phone and I show him I grab my phone. They start arguing. So three be like, bitch, hey, nigga, don't call me for them niggas. And what do I'm saying? Say, bro, we just put our life in danger, bro. And when I said that shit, one of his niggas was like, man, I'm glad we didn't shoot this bitch up from the outside because they were finna just drive by and spray the studio. They weren't even finna get out and knock on the door. Just so happened one of them had a a brain. It's I'm like, sure. let's, yeah, bro, let's go make sure he ain't heard it. Cause they were finna just drive by and spray this bitch up. So 
Bro, like, oh, I'm glad we didn't spray this bitch up. So I'm like, look, nigga, you almost got us killed, bro. You tripping. He hang up the phone. So now, at this time, Boosie, Boosie and Mo3 had just clicked up. Yeah. So I'm walking through Redbird Mile one day. And bro was like, uh, he just kept, I think they were doing an autograph sign and a booster was doing an autograph sign to take a picture with the fans or whatever. Bro was like, hey, bro, I need to holler at you. He seen me walk through the, through, uh, through the breeze where I forget what store they was in because the store ain't there no more. But he's like, hey, I need to holler at you. Just three. So I'm like, what's up, bro? What the woo? He say, uh, damn, bitch, why you calling me for them niggas? And I'm like, bro, because you really put my life. In danger, bro. I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm trying to make it home my kids, bro. You, you about to get a nigga shot up from the outside of the bitch. Them niggas about, all them niggas wasn't going to do shit, bro. Them niggas from ho. Fam, them niggas had guns, fam. I don't care mm. what, what you talking about. Up. These niggas popped up with guns. 30 niggas in like six cars. Mm. It was like six cars. Like, these niggas deep in the bitch <laughs> per car. Here, you talking oh, about. Yeah. So me and bro, we had an argument. But just so happened, the same night, I had a show with Boosie. And Mo3 was there. So uh this one go yeah yo and all them niggas were tight. Go yeah yo, trap boy, yeah, the, all them niggas, they were there, they were there together though. Yeah. Like go yeah yo and them, they were there together. So I'm over here with Mr. My Turn, my way to them, the my ties movement, the I'm over here in this section, the VIP section with these niggas, the niggas who brought them down here. It's our turn to perform. And right before I go on stage, me and three meeting the crowd, we bump heads right there. Like we 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 in a heated situation, like in the middle of the club. Same same day as the mall situation. Yeah, so so now it's like we we sitting right here from the squabble to the point to where it didn't caught the attention of the club. Like, damn, these niggas finna fight. Now everybody in the club looking at us. Ain't nobody paying attention to what the fuck going on on stage. Everybody watching us because we finna squabble. My big brother come over there and I'm like, hey bro, can we talk about this situation later? He moved me, take me back to, to the dressing room with the strippers or whatever. I don't know where they went. I think they, they exited the building. Or, I don't know where they went because I went to the back. Yeah. Like, my brother took me like, hey, bro, I'm trying to make money right here. I got this artist down here, bro. I need to make all my money. I don't need nobody fucking it up. Yeah, yeah. Chill. So, I'm like, out of respect for my big brother, I'm like, I got you, bro. I chill. Oh, real. Really? So, it's my turn to perform. I go up there. I perform. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. When I perform, I'm so mad, I leave. Like, during the middle of the performance, bro, like, I'm performing. Like, I'm literally rapping, bro, and I just put the mic down and, like, left because I'm, I'm I'm hot. I'm mad. Like, I really like, I ain't feeling this shit no more. Yeah, yeah. So, boom, fast forward, like, two weeks. It's, like, two weeks later. I'm in Redbird. I'm in Redbird Mall again. And then uh, one of my little partners that cut her in the bottom down by Burlington's, he come tell me, say, say, bro, your little partner in here. I say, who is my partner? And they say, uh, the little three guy, uh, the O, he called him O three at the time, cause he 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 ain't really had no name then. Yeah, yeah. So he like the O three guy. So I'm like, Mo three. He like, yeah, like where that bitch at? So I shoot up the Foot Locker, but I'm by myself. Like I'm by myself. So uh, I go to Foot Locker with the woo woo. -woo. I said, what's up with the bitch? You still mad with the woo? He like, nigga, you know I don't fuck with you with the woo woo. And like he just started going off. Like now we in Foot Locker arguing. Yeah. So I'm trying to tell him, like, hey, bro, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me, bro. That between you and Gunner, bro. But, nigga, I got to go back to the East and see these niggas. They stay in my project, fool, and nigga. I got to go home to them. Yeah. I don't got to come home to you. When I go home, I got to hang with these niggas. I got to sit on the green box and smoke with these niggas. He ain't trying to hear it. One of his niggas like, let's smash him. Like, let's jump him, basically. Yeah. So the niggas start crowding around. I get on my phone. I call my little brother. Hey, little bro. These niggas up here think I'm a whole brain the strap, bro. These, we at, I'm at the mile. Now my little brother man walking through the mall with guns to come rescue me. So when they get there, I see them. So I, I go to my little brother and then we walk back out to the truck. I get my gun now. Yeah. Now, my gun in my truck. I'm, I'm in the mall. I don't need no gun. So now I go back to the truck. I get my gun. Now we all walking through the mall with guns. I guess they must have knew what the fuck we was coming for. Because now all these niggas gone. Mm. We walking through the mall. The, the, the police were like, hey, bro, y'all can't be in here with them guns and shit like that. So we're like, man, fuck guns you. Out. Guns out, AK 47s and AR 15s wow. and Glocks and all type of shit. So I'm like, man, fuck you, where them niggas go? A lady say, they ran through Burlington's. <laughs> <laughs> they ran through Burlington. We catch out, we run through Burlington. By, the, by that time, I think Bro had a black truck. I think Three had like a little black GMC or F 150 or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. We just see it skirt out. So we're like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? 
after that, so I'm like, yeah, bro, when I see that nigga, I'm a, I'm a whack him. I'm, now that's on my mind, like, I can't never see him again. And just so happened, thank God, by the grace of Jesus Christ, I never seen him again. Yeah. Because I had it on my mind all the way up until my little brother was like, hey, bitch, you tripping. You really need to go and squash that shit so you can move comfortable like you. Cause, how, long, how long was that before he passed? Oh, uh, like, like, probably like nine, like, it was probably like a year, maybe nine or ten months. To so he was still like cool that. with the people from Oak Cliff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. To where he could come over in Oak Cliff and chill. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was like, wow. He was, was still, he was still cool with Yellow Bees and then they would just like did a video shoot or some old shit. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all that went sour in nine months. Yeah. Wow. Like nine to ten months. Everything just went sour. He got That's killed. Sad. I went on real life street store, like, hey, I'm gonna squash my beef with bro. Because I I wasn't able to move comfortable like I wanted to, not knowing oh, no. if, not knowing if he's gonna send somebody or mm-hmm. I can't go to this side of town or I stay in North Dallas. I live in Richardson. Yeah. So when I come across Forest Lane, I wanna be able to get out and go to the right. gas station. I wanna be able to go to the hood store and get some single cigarettes. <laughs> I wanna go to Williams Chicken and get me some chicken without niggas shooting at me. It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.